Okay, the story I'm going to read is called The Warrior. It's a story of a man who's dying. Uh, he, he never appears actually in the story. People just talk about him. Mainly the, the character that's there is his wife and the priest that she sent for, who is his best friend. He's an agnostic, so he, he did not want a priest sent for ever, but this man is his friend. So I'll, I'll start reading from the part where the priest arrives. The priest came forward to greet her, took the hand she offered in both of his, and stood there without speaking, but looking at her with so much kindness that she felt her eyes filling with tears. Don't, she told herself sternly, don't do that. Aloud she murmured, Father Noel. Come, Isabel, let us sit down, the priest said, leading her to the divan, giving her time to recover. How have you been? She dismissed the question with a small gesture. He has not sent for you, she said. I do not know if he will consent to see you. Has it been very bad? He asked gently. Yes, very bad, she said, raising a hand briefly to her eyes as though to shield them from the sight of her husband's pain. The priest, following the hand's movement, noted that it had lost none of its slenderness or grace. Remember, she said, how he always thought that the end when it came would come swiftly, that it would be over very quickly, a heart attack, a stroke, a fatal accident even? It has not been that way at all. It has taken a long time. His body was still very strong when the illness came and his mind, his mind is pretty much as it ever was, which I think must make it worse for him. He has suffered much. He noted the pauses, filled in the gaps, a shadow passed over his own eyes, suffered much, yes, he repeated softly. Do you remember, she said, that anthropologist, the one he read long ago, the man who spent some time with the Yaqui Indians? Esteban used to speak of him often, and of that code the Indians had taught him, the way of the warrior. Ah, yes, I remember, Father Noel said, the four enemies that the warrior must overcome, fear, certainty, power, when he learned that he, was, that he was sick with a terminal illness, Esteban said to me, Ah, the last enemy, death. Yes, the enemy one cannot overcome. Well, said Father Noel, I have no doubt this old warrior will meet him with courage. But I do not want for him to do so alone, Father, she said. I know, my dear, I am here. Yes, but on the other hand, I do not want to... I gave him my word a long time ago. I know that too. He said to me, I must trust you not to do to me when I am weak and helpless what you would not do while I was strong. That was many years ago, Father, when we were both young and beautiful. And death was a vague shadow in the distance. I gave him my word, as I gave him everything else he asked for in those days. The priest was silent. After a few moments, Isabel said, advise me, Father Noel. The priest had been expecting this, but was not quite ready with a reply. He rose slowly from the divan and moved toward the windows. Looking beyond them, Isabel saw Nando sweeping the dried leaves into little piles under the old acacia tree. I don't think Esteban will refuse to see me. I am here not as a priest, but as his friend, to say goodbye. That's it. My name is Cristina Pantoja Hidalgo. I am, am part of the Board of Advisors of the UP ICW. I used to be a director. It's one of its directors. And now my, I am director of the USD Creative Writing Center. Um, this piece is part of a book which is a collection of what I call modern tales. So they're not realist short stories as much as they are tales. And um, I based the story on the character of my husband, uh, the warrior, and uh, he died in 2011. And uh, 
the story was curiously prescient because I went through the same uh, dilemma, trying to decide whether I should send for a priest or not, because he had been an agnostic since he was 17. When I met him, he already was an agnostic. And so I was uh, torn between doing what I knew he wanted and doing what I would have wanted to do, which is send for a priest, because I am Catholic. Uh, my favorite part is the end, the ending, when, when the, the woman, Isabel, asks him what happened, and the, the priest says, I think he saved the best argument for the last. That's my favorite part, what that argument was. Readers are the best judge of what your best contribution is. Myself, my, my opinion is that um, my contribution to short fiction, for example, was the tale, the modern tale. I used to write uh, realist fiction, and uh, then I returned to it. But between the two books that are realist, I wrote what I call modern fairy tales. So that, I think, was my contribution. In a way, it uh, antedated the contemporary uh, popularity of speculative fiction. It's a form of speculative fiction. But most of the people that I know, my friends and others, <laughs> tell me that my major contribution was probably in the field of creative nonfiction. I was a kind of pioneer, I guess, in travel writing, the travel essay.